Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll talk about how to apply for Indian visa from Canada but before I do that I'd like to mention that right now I'm in downtown Toronto in a park which is uh, the Coronation Park and uh, the temperature is uh, 23 degrees Celsius with uh, 12 miles per hour wind and uh, the humidity level is 65 percent and uh, the sunset is about at nine o'clock so what it means that uh, at 10 o'clock still is going to be uh, light outside so in Canada in summer uh, the days are always longer and even if it's 10 o'clock it feels like it's still it's a daylight so I just uh, went through the visa obtaining process uh, to uh, go to India for upcoming India visit and I would like to share my experience and I would like to mention how to apply for Indian tourist visa from Canada. Now the process uh, applying for other types of visas such as uh, e-visa or medical visa are different and I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about only tourist visa uh, which I applied for Canada and uh, if you are watching this from other parts of uh, other parts of the world uh, uh, for example like uh, USA or European countries then uh, the, most likely the process would be very similar uh, however for different country country the process is different so you should uh, check with uh, your local Indian consulate before you go through any process and applying for Indian visa application and also I'd like to mention that uh, the information is accurate as of uh, right now uh, by the time you're watching this video things might, might have changed and uh, the information I'm going to provide you may no longer be valid so always check uh, on uh, the Indian consulate website and at your local Indian consulate before you uh, apply and going for any uh, tourist visa or any kind of visa so the f first thing uh, in order to uh, visit India most of the uh, citizens of the most countries uh, re would require a visa only a handful of countries uh, citizens do not require a visa to visit India and they will be uh, issued visa upon arrival and uh, the link I'm going to provide uh, on the screen uh, which is the BLS link they uh, do have a uh, list of those countries for which uh, you do not need visa so if you are a citizen of one of those countries then you do not need visa but you know check before you uh, apply or just uh, starting your trip to India now in order to apply for Indian visa you need to uh, submit your application online through the Indian consulate website and I'll give you that uh, link uh, right on the screen and you have to apply online and then once you go through the online application process then it will give you an option to do a printout so you need to have that printout and then once you have that printout and all other required documents uh, such as pictures uh, passports and there might be other necessary documents so obtain those uh, what uh, these uh, documents will be mentioned on the website so once you have everything then you need to go to the BLS uh, center in your local area BLS is a third-party uh, outsourcing company which looks after the Indian visa processing application and they are the one who actually looks after the whole thing so you have to go to your local uh, BLS center to submit the application now you can actually submit the application uh, via mail but I do not rec recommend that it's best that you uh, submit uh, directly going to their center the reason for that uh, if you have a slight mistake then your application will be declined and it will be sent back however if you are at the local center then they'll tell you right away that here is the mistake you made and you'll have a chance to uh, re submit the application uh, you're gonna have to just go to a nearest computer center where you can uh, reprint the online application again and as long as you are before the cutoff time you can just uh, uh, submit at the center 
so once you uh, submit uh, uh, BLS everything uh, required uh, including the application pictures passport and anything else then uh, you'll be uh, given uh, uh, an option uh, to either have that uh, passport back uh, via courier or you can walk in uh, to uh, the BLS center uh, another time whenever it's ready to uh, get your passport back now for my own application i chose to just have it sent uh, via courier because i didn't want to go back there however you have an option there to go pick up or just get it via courier now at the bls center there might be a long line or there may not be long line depending on what day and what time you go the time when i went uh, it, i didn't have to wait too long i finished the whole process within two hours and then uh, for myself i actually got the visa in two business days uh, however i heard uh, many uh, bad complaints or numerous uh, negative reviews about the whole process uh, and the bls and indian consulate but for me i was surprised that uh, everything went so smooth i do have another video on that uh, where i mentioned that uh, the uh, treatment or the smooth application process I went through uh, so I uh, the results might be based on your uh, own uh, situation and you may be able to get visa right away or there may be delay if they require further information or uh, there is any error or they need to investigate anything further uh, now I'd like to uh, mention that my uh, trip is coming in november so i applied for visa early or uh, about six months early because i didn't want to wait at the last moment and once you have everything ready then you can start your trip uh, to go to india to visit uh, various uh, historic places and other stuff now by the end of this video i'll show you around uh, this beautiful place in toronto and uh, this is located in the heart of downtown toronto and across me uh, there is the lake ontario and then there is an island airport right behind me so again uh, i thank you for watching this video if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and all the links i mentioned i'll be given uh, uh, those links will be given on the screen and again, before you actually go through any application process, uh, just uh, make sure that the information you are getting is accurate and up to the moment because any visa application process uh, information can change anytime. So by the time you are watching this video, just make sure that you check the consulate website or you call uh, BLS to get up to date information. Uh, that's all for today uh, thanks for watching uh, please hit the subscribe button if you like what you see and consider uh, hitting the like button and there will be more videos coming up thank you goodbye